Uganda's greens and green products constitute a significant commodity within the East African community and beyond. However, these products have faced rejections at the borders due to inadequate post-harvest management practices, which result into contamination with the aflatoxins and many others. Therefore, there is need to enforce compliance to grain and grain product standards to protect humans and animal health and pro pro promote cross-border trade and international trade for us to fetch more currency in our country. Accordingly, Uganda National Bureau of Standards has developed various standards for a range of grains and grain products. It has certified so far 630 service providers across country across the country for maize products which products production capacities for these 630 companies is estimated to be 217,000 while announcing the new guidelines at the media center, the State Minister of Finance for Investment and Privatization, Honorable Evelyn Anyete, revealing the main core of the guideline. Those companies of service providers who are certified by UNBS. So, in other words, if the company is not certified by UNBS, government, ministry, department, and agency shall not be allowed to procure grain or grain product from that company so as to avoid buying contaminated food. The UNBS executive director James Kasigwa noted that so far only 630 companies are certified to produce the green products. He noted that UNBS is ready to oversee the implementations of the guidelines to ensure that there are no errors that are made in terms of putting out poor products on the markets. Sure that they are well trained to know the processes and well educated we are no longer gatekeeping or policing our approach previously was market surveillance now we are hand holding the msmes in the entire value chain to ensure that we help them to meet the standards that we require then this very initiative is quite instrumental in ensuring the, 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 the that we achieve our quality standards because we have been using a stick alone. Now, this is giving us a carrot. It's now a stick and a carrot. Previously, we were surveilling, making market surveillance. But now, if you want to supply the biggest consumer in the market, which is government, then you must actually come and learn with us, and we handhold you until you meet uh, uh, the standards that are required. Benso Twaimi, the executive director of PPDA, explained how the guidelines will be achieved and to ensure that the enforcement are undertaken. We are also saying there are those providers who have been having framework contracts. But we are saying update, we are going to end this, that these providers must update their record under framework contract and show the certification. So if they are not satisfied and they have been supplying government, they will be removed from that uh, framework contract. Robert Mwanje, the board chairperson of the Grain Council of Uganda, voiced out that they have invested $200 million in grain products and yet the products are still not on the standard. He has appreciated the government together with the UNNBS for ensuring that the guidelines are issued out to stop the implications that have been occurring during the trade and distributions. Katoja kusanga nge ne mere ribuwa nyo. Hakati buobanga tufurumia e mere bulimuaka obu kadebutano mwemi tuwalu chinana. Eza tani by the way. Echo njaga la nchi, nchi tanga zebulu unji. Osanga nga kumpi kubukade. Uh, Bweba tugamba tuli obu kade kumpi ya namu kaga. Oja kusanga nga bulimu untu wafuna kumere yo. Katiba chabu labe nyo. E mere yo buwebanga te, te, te liko kweke nenya na kusenge jebu wabulu unji. Chitegeza antutuba tusasanya nduwa dezok.